Hey y'all! Welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be showing you guys how to make a popular side dish called Southern Cream Corn. And you can definitely bring this to your next potluck. Mm -hmm. And this is our final product. So let's, let's give, give it a, a taste, taste test. <laughs> right. Ready? Yeah. Check this out. Cheers. Cheers. Be careful, it's hot. Oh yeah. Creamy. It's tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm. I want to eat it again. Oh yeah. What do you think about it? It's a good appetizer, or it can also be a dessert. People, <laughs> you won't disappoint anyone bringing this to a party. Mm -hmm. And it's rich, you know, mm -hmm. flavor. So cool. I just love that it's not just you know, sweet like any other cream corn that we would we usually try or eat. Alright. Well, be sure to stay tuned throughout this video to learn this super delicious recipe. Mm -hmm. What do you All think? Right. Let's jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need four cans of kernel corn to make our life easier. Or you can use fresh corn on a cob. Five tablespoons of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one half cup of diced sweet onion, five cloves of garlic minced, one half cup of evaporated milk, one half cup of heavy cream, one fourth cup sugar, one fourth teaspoon salt, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon paprika, and cayenne, which is optional. Let's heat our pan to a medium-high heat and add in our butter. Let it melt and gradually add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Cook the flour so it is no longer raw. Continue moving it around so it doesn't burn, like so. Now we'll saute our minced garlic and diced onions. Mmm, -mm. y'all smell that? It's smelling great. It's smelling so delicious. While it's caramelizing, close your eyes for a second and soak in the goodness. Once our onions become translucent, we'll pour in our corn and make sure if you're using the corn from the can that you drain the water off. Now, I can make this from scratch with fresh corn on a cob, but you know what, y'all? I was feeling lazy today. <laughs> Stir the corn around for a couple of minutes to heat them up. Now we're going to add in our half cup of evaporated milk and half cup of heavy cream, which I have consolidated here into one measuring cup. Now we'll introduce our dry ingredients. Garlic powder, fresh cracked black pepper, paprika, a little cayenne to give it a little personality, two pinches of salt, and one fourth cup of sugar. And as always, the specific measurements and ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. You may also add more sugar if you would like for it to taste sweeter. After all, this is sweet corn. Stir it well so all the ingredients can gel together. Let it simmer for another five minutes or so. You can see it thicken up just right. You can already tell it's creamy and delicious. Now, go ahead and turn off your heat and let it rest. The longer you let it sit, the thicker it'll get. Now, it's time to plate our southern cream corn. Ooh wee there you have it. Rich, creamy, delicious southern cream corn. Take a look at that. Mmm. 
And friends, that's how you make Southern cream corn. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoy what you see today, please press the like and subscribe button and the bell button for future notifications. And also leave a comment down below on what you think about our recipe. And we will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. Bye. See you later.